never lost a battle, never shed a tear, never fought twice on a decision and showed us purity beats fair. I request for her to join me, but boy, this request, it lays much deeper. Her name is my mother, and up until now, she never knew this battle existed either. Campaigner, social entrepreneur, mental health spokesman, poet, future astronaut, and also my very good friend. Today, I am joined by Hussein Manawa. How are you, bro? I'm very good, man. How are you? Thank you for joining me, Yo, man. Thank you for having me. We are at the Science Museum. I know it's been a year since yeah. you um, won the Crew the Cow Rising Star Award in Bangkok. Yeah. Hussein Manawa. Has your life changed astronomically since you found out you were going to space? Big time. The moment I won, everywhere from online, social media, real life, worldwide it's changed. I was in Canada taking selfies, even Bangkok taking selfies. I'm like, I've never been to these places before and people know who I am. So have they set you like an exercise and diet yes. regimen? Oh, I haven't got no diet requirements just yet, yeah. but um, I started G-Force aerobatics flight training. So I experienced life with no gravity for, for a few seconds and like, my arm was just floating. I was like, oh, what happened? My arm just started floating. So if you could choose one album that you would listen to on the journey all the way to outer space, yeah what would be the album that you would choose? The Long Way Home. By Crips and Kona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm going to space, that's what I'm going to listen to. All right, now I've got some questions here. Now these questions are about space, about science. Um, just testing your knowledge, and if not testing you, kind of maybe educating you about some things here. So it's true okay. or false, are you ready yep. to go? Yep. Let's go. The solar system was formed approximately 15 billion years ago. How am I meant to know this, bro? <laughs> I don't even know what photosynthesis is. In space, the skin on your feet peels off. Why would only on your feet? No, that's false. It's true. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's Why true. Why only on your feet? Uh, we have to get into the science of it, but uh, after, after we... Yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, last wow. one. You become taller in space. Is that true or false? False. It's true. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for ruining my self I'm sorry, this I'm sorry, bro. I see this as an intergalactic cipher, an opportunity to connect everybody emotionally, spiritually, and mentally tighter. So help me, help you, help us raise this bar of opportunity that little bit higher. You know, I think it's amazing. Um, you now become a worldwide known figure for mental health awareness and speaking about mental health issues. Um, how does it make you feel to know that there are some people out there that look to you and found motivation from you to fight such serious illness? Yesterday I met someone, I met a 15 year old boy called Adam in this school and um, he came up to me and he said, I want to change the world, I want to be like you. Wow. That is incredible. Mm. Out of everywhere I've been across the world, no one has impacted me as much as this kid did. And then it just really hit me, like, wow, yeah, this is really important. Sometimes you can stand in front of thousands of people and I find it easy to talk, but one-on-one, -on -one, I was like, wow, he got me. And, you know, I know that it's very important to you to try and get the message and, you know, awareness of mental health further. And I know you actually want to try and get it pushed into schools as well. I feel like our generation, we're, we're a bit lost mm -hmm. and we're going to make the younger generation even more lost because they're more connected and disconnected at the same time. So it's like about trying to make the next generation learn from our mistakes. Yeah, big mm -hmm. time. Don't you know, one rising star alone cannot make this night shine any brighter.